Let's continue to investigate some of these prepare to share features that Macabacus has to offer. Again, if we go up into the Macabacus section of the ribbon, over on the left to share and click prepare to share, we want to look at the ability to find and check for formula errors. Let's close out of this dialog box for now, put a couple errors in place in the Excel file, and then look for them. Let's go ahead and put a couple errors in place in this Excel file. We could go down here where we're doing a simple sum and just divide this by zero. That would produce a div zero error. Another example of an error which we could really easily put in place is right here where we have a six as an input. We could instead say equals CFI. And if we haven't defined CFI as a name, then this will produce a name error. This is perfect. Now we have a couple different errors that we can search for using Macabacus. Let's go ahead now and move away from this tab and over to the cover tab. We're going to run the Macabacus tool. So we go up to the Macabacus section in the ribbon over to share and click prepare to share. We're going to look here for formula errors and we want to apply this to this workbook. Let's go ahead and click OK. It's telling us that the workbook contains formula errors. Let's OK this box and investigate how we can find them. In order to locate these formula errors, we're going to make use of another amazing feature in Macabacus. Up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon, over in this Utilities section, we're going to click Superfind. When this dialog box comes open, we're going to make note of a few different categories. We have text filters, over on the right, formatting filters, second from the right, date filters, but what we're after is right here. This little calculator gives us value filters. Let's click that icon and then open up this drop down box and we want to go all the way down to here to find formula errors. Now that we've selected that, we're going to go ahead and run the tool. Let's go ahead now and run the tool by clicking the find button right here. As we can see, Macabacus has gone ahead and found three different errors in our sheet. What's even better, as we click on these, it's going to take us exactly to that error clicking down through the second one and the third one, and we've been able to pinpoint exactly where these errors are. This was great. Macabacus was able to check the entire file, let us know that there were some formula errors, but then we were able to use this super fine tool to pinpoint the exact location of those formula errors. We're going to want to keep in mind that these two tools can be used together in a really powerful way. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon in the next video.